everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be making quesadilla, which is basically a quesadilla made with birria, which is described as a Mexican beef stew that originated in Jalisco, Mexico. And it's traditionally prepared with goat, but it's not uncommon to use beef and that's what I'll be using today, a chuck rose. So if you want to see how I make this delicious mouth-watering meal, then just keep watching. So here I have a three pound chuck roast and in here my spices are onion powder, uh, salt and pepper, and ground thyme. All the ingredients like always are in the description bar. So you want to generously season your meat. Rub that in. Other side. So I have both sides generously seasoned and now I'm going to sear this meat in my Dutch oven. So I have my Dutch oven on high. I'm going to add some oil in here. And now, wait for that sizzle. It's been searing for a couple of minutes and I'm going to flip it. Let that side go for another couple of minutes. So now that both sides have been seared, I'm going to add in two liters of water, which is equivalent to about eight, eight and a half cups of water. And what you want is you want to make sure that the liquid is covering your roast. There, so I added in a total of nine cups of water. Let me bring the temperature back up to a high. And now to the water, I'm going to add in one onion that I cut in half. Four bay leaves. And one head of garlic that I cut in half. So now after this comes to a boil, I'm gonna turn it low, put on simmer, and I'm gonna let this cook for one hour, slow and low, and then I'll come back. I almost forgot the most important part. So I have two tablespoons of chicken bouillon and two tablespoons of salt. You gotta have that, very importante. So let me stir that up. Then I will cover it once it comes to a boil and turn it on low and come back in one hour. I'm using 10 guajillo chiles and two chile anchos. And first, what I need to do is take off the stem and remove all the seeds. Make sure you get them all out. So let me start working on this and then I'll show you what you need to do next. So here I have a pot of boiling water where I'm going to add three Roma tomatoes. I'm going to add the chiles to them to this and let it get soft. It usually takes about 15 minutes and then I will come back. So after about 15 minutes, the chiles are soft, ready for me to take them out and add them to the blender. In my mocajete here, I have some whole cumin seed and some black peppercorns. And I'm gonna put it in here just to help mash it up more before I put it in the blender. And if you don't have whole cumin seed, you can use the cumin powder. So let me grind this up a little bit. So I pretty much smashed it up to a little bit finer pieces. So now over to the blender. Let 
And I'm adding in five garlic cloves, a small piece of cinnamon stick. And I have three cloves, got some smoked paprika, Mexican oregano, one chipotle chile. In here, I have some more chicken bouillon, some salt and onion powder, and some white vinegar. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a cup of the broth where the meat is cooking and add it in here to help blend it up. And now let me blend this up. So this is the consistency. I'm not gonna add this yet to the roast until after it's been cooking for one hour. Still got about 30 more minutes to go. And then I will add this to the pot. So this has been cooking for an hour now and I'm just going to remove all the onion, the bay leaf and the garlic. So then I can add my sauce in here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to strain my chile, my sauce into here. So as you can see, this is what was left over. We don't want that, I'm gonna throw that away. So now let me give this a stir. And I still have some in the blender. So let's get this goodness out of here, add it in here. Pour that in there. So now after the sauce has been put in here, this is gonna cook for another two to two and a half hours. I will come back and check it. But after this, I don't need to do anything. It's just gonna do its own little thing in here. But look at this color. So after then is when I'll come back and I'll check for the seasoning, adjust it if I need to. But I can just tell by smelling it, I don't think it's gonna need anything else. So I'll cover it back up. It's still cooking on low. Okay, so this has been cooking for three and a half hours. I kept checking it to see if it was tender enough and now it's, it's pretty tender. So I'm gonna take the meat out and then I'm gonna start to shred it, start preparing it, getting it all ready. So here's the roast all chopped up. First, I'm gonna take some of the sauce. I'm just gonna put a little bit, marinate that meat. So now what I'm doing, and it takes a little patience, is I'm skimming off the oil, the fat. So I just go around the pan like this, and I'm not gonna throw this. This right here is liquid gold. Not gonna throw it. So here I have my griddle. It is very hot. And I'm gonna take some of this fat, put it on here. Put that on there. You don't want to flip it too much because then the, your tortilla is going to break. So flip it. This is a Oaxaca cheese that I'm using. And I'm gonna take some of that beef, put it in here. Sprinkle some onion, cilantro. I'm gonna fold that up. there and get a little crispy let that cheese melt so 
So now I'm just going to flip them over to the other side. Let it get a little bit more crispy. So now I'm going to take them off. The cheese is pretty much melted. Look at that. Time for me to eat. So now I'm going to take this consomme, put it in a little ramekin here. And to that, I'm going to put in some onion and some more cilantro. And then a squeeze of lime. Oh yeah. Now finally I can eat this. So you take this and you dip it in here because that's the only way to eat it. That's the right way to eat it. Mm -mm. This has so much flavor. Definitely worth the wait. This was a labor of love, I like to call it. But try this, make this. You will love it. And that's the video for today, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.